Hi, Hello, Will. Will. Hello. Recording uh, in progress. Good. Thanks for joining me. How is everyone? Yeah, very well. Great. Thank you. Great. Good. Good. Congratulations. I love this movie. Uh, I saw it uh, during Beyond Fest here in okay. LA. So it was a uh, lot of fun. <laughs> okay. What was the reaction in the theater? The reaction? Yeah. There, there was a lot of like shrieking and like wincing at the violence but in a good way you know <laughs> it was a lot of fun but uh but yeah uh i guess we'll start um uh with you xavier if you don't mind you know i understand your co-writer in addition to directing so i was curious how uh this project all started for you uh going back to the beginning yeah so for me it was reading uh, articles about foreigner going into Thailand to reinvent themselves because it's a country, uh, weirdly in France, there's a lot of uh, people who have been in jail and as soon as they are outside, they want to reinvent themselves, start from the restart and the reboot their life and they go there and they start rebooting their life. Some of them go in the good way, trying to build up small business like a restaurant, these kind of things, and others are taking the wrong way. So. We decide to tell the story of someone taking the wrong way. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's great. Uh, you know, it's shot in, you know, different countries. Um, so was was that the plan all along to sort of bring it to different parts of the world? Yeah, the, I wanted something exotic and I wanted to bring uh, the audience uh, to, to a journey, uh, to follow Sam in his journey. And in a way, it's funny because when we are talking with the producer about the film was like, okay, uh, back in the day, there was the Westerns about foreigner arriving in America and reinventing their life from Europe. And this time it's, we are in modern day and I think Southern Asia is a new Western in a way. So we call this movie the first Eastern. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> new, new era. Excuse me, because I'm waiting for a delivery and I have just to open my door, I come back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Hello? that's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, Nassim, if if you don't mind, I, I was curious. You know, uh, for you going back to the beginning, what was it about uh, this character and uh, this movie that sort of first drew you to it? Um, so, because uh, I just a uh, funny story uh, behind the scenes that I made. So I, I loved. I was a huge fan of like Gangs of London season one. Mm -hmm. And so I was in New York with my girlfriend and I had to send a self tape for the season two of games. And I was like, Oh, I can see that we have a lot of common friends with Xavier on Instagram. So, you know what, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. So I sent Xavier uh, my self tape and he saw it. And it was like, unfortunately, I'm not going to be part of season two but let's have a drink a coffee when you're back in paris so we had that very early coffee i remember it was 8 a.m i was like oh my god but yeah <laughs> i was still gonna go maybe there's a a movie at the end and so xavier was pitching me uh, uh, mayhem oh, and yeah. i was like that's crazy because i've been waiting my entire life to have this kind of script you know it has a, I, I had a uh, fighter background and I was doing Thai boxing for 15 years so I was like oh it's a dream coming true and then at the end of the coffee Xavier was like but unfortunately I already have an actor for that part that that role so I was like oh okay cool so I was like really sad and then three weeks later uh, both Xavier and Vincent the producer and, and funny story but like it's crazy, but like I met both Xavier and Vincent uh, at a different time, and they 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 were both like um, willing to give me that part, but they didn't know that I met each other like in different, you know. So sometimes when 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 things are meant to be, they're meant to be, and so then he called me three weeks later, and, and it was like the the actor is not available, so would you like to to be part of it? And I was like. Of course, I, I, I jumped in, and and what I loved uh, in the script is that, like as Jude said earlier, it's not only an action movie, but like Sam, and, and Sam is not only an action hero. He has this uh, emotional uh, core to it, and and that's really because 
there's so many action movies like where the the hero don't have this uh, uh, these breaches, you know, this uh, weakness, and and that's really what what I loved about uh, Sam's character. Yeah, yeah, he's very likable, you know. Because <laughs> exactly. he's the, human, he's human. It's not like you know. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I I have a wife and daughter, so I was watching this <laughs> like rooting for you you know <laughs> seriously yeah that's great and uh uh jude you know i uh i was curious you know for you uh uh there are a lot of intense moments in this movie and i was curious if one stood out for you you know one that you worked on that was maybe the most challenging or or something really memorable you know behind the scenes i think the the elevator fight, it, it, it was the, had to be the, the crescendo of the action. And, and we've had all these different violent moments and obstacles and challenges that take Sam to that place. And when Xavier first talked to me about the movie um, project, it just gave me a very rough outline but he knew that he wanted this fight in an elevator. And before we get into choreography about styles or techniques or, or, or even locations, uh, Xavier and I like to talk about the emotion and the drama that's driving that sequence. And um, for me, that fight is a fight about survival. And one thing I love to do is, um, I sometimes like to misdirect the audience or lead the audience in one direction and, and, and they think it's going to go one way. So in the case of this sequence, we've had this fight in, in the corridor where Sam makes pretty easy work of a lot of bunch of people, a lot of armed people. And then it switches. And now I want the audience to really feel that he could die and that his life's in danger. Um, I don't think that movie action movie fights are realistic or most of the time they're not and and i don't want them to be we're having a, a cinematic experience but i want it to feel like a fight and in that moment i want the audience to feel like they are in that elevator and that people are fighting for their lives and fighting for survival because there is one gun and uh, whoever has control of that gun is probably going to come out the victor. Um, so it was about designing that in a way that would come across as plausible and credible. And uh, I was very fortunate that before pre-production or while pre-production was going on in Thailand, Xavier was able to explain to his producers the process that we like to employ with designing action where we try to design and refine the action not just the choreography but the shot choices the edits well in advance so there was four weeks in the uk when xavier was prepping in thailand where i had a small stunt team from germany and the uk and we worked on the choreography for the sequences and with the elevator um we were ruthless in our choreography and our ideas and we would try and paint sam into a corner and then try and get him out of the corner and there would there were days um, where we just felt we were getting stuck and we, we it just the choreography wasn't flowing because we weren't trying to go for like a gene kelly-esque or jackie chan style sequence where it's a lot of fun um, but that's part of the process. It's having the luxury of, of, of workshopping those ideas and, and playing with the ideas and experimenting and then refining it ultimately down to a choreography that the stunt team believes in, that the director is happy with because we would send Xavier videos and he would give us his thoughts and his notes. And then shooting a previs, which we ultimately did in Bangkok, so that when it comes to shooting, everybody hopefully by that point is on the same page the director the stunt team the art department the costume people the special effects people everybody knows what's expected of them and previs is such a wonderful tool in that way because everybody can understand on a shot by shot basis what we're trying to achieve and they've also it's not printed words on a script page it's a moving video 
and it's it's great then with the shooting because you can say to your actor okay Nassim this shot is taking us from here to here and then the camera's going to whip away and we're going to hide the cut there so it feels like in continuous motion and then when we shoot the fight sequence we're replacing the footage from onto the edit over the previous so it becomes like paint by numbers thing um but it was a challenge but i, I had a great team and also uh, not just in terms of the choreography team but also the stunt team on set and the wider crew and xavier and i going into battle together directing this uh, sequence and him making sure that sam uh, sorry not sam nassim knew where he was emotionally at any given moment and because we would sometimes have to shoot out of sequence for logistical reasons. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ask, answering your question in a really long-winded way, Will, but the, the, the elevator fight was a challenge, but I think as we were doing it, I got a sense that we might be making something that was quite special. And then seeing it for the first time with an audience um, and, and before hearing their reaction, sensing their reaction was was yeah. really was really gratifying and and uh, I'm, I'm, I am happy with with what we all achieved in that fight. That's yeah, amazing. yeah. You mentioned it; it's all coming back to me. Yeah, that was that was a very <laughs> memorable. Uh, <laughs> it spikes your blood pressure, <laughs> but that's the point. Um, and Nassim, is whether it's it's the elevator or was there another uh, particular sequence that was the toughest for you to pull off on camera? Or... I think the elevator was the was the toughest uh, in terms of uh, uh, like you know it was a very it was the size of a real elevator. It was okay. not like you know and uh, and 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 we spent four days and the temperature was like really high. And in terms of intensity, you know, there's almost a hundred shots uh, for for that. Uh, sequence and and in every shot is about like one or two seconds but you have to put the same intensity every time and as long because you know Jude is editing live on set so he knows when we can move forward or not and sometimes uh, I had to because my to make it look like one one shot the the arms was supposed to be in so you know when it when it was too high it, it didn't work so i had to repeat the 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 same movement like over and over again with the same intensity and like i remember i i mostly pass out when i when it was the shot with charlie when i trying to stab him and be like Ehh! i remember like i i was like so stuck here that i, I almost passed out so yeah definitely the elevator scene but like when you see the results you have no regrets and like if i had to do it again uh, uh, i would jump on the occasion <laughs> to, to, cool. to give you an idea of how hot it was will uh i was editing on my laptop on set and the laptop was overheating to the point that the camera department went and got bin bags and filled them with ice <laughs> and the laptop was on top of ice in order to stay alive yeah and I'm finding it hot and sweaty, and I'm just sitting at a computer. Nassim is doing take after take of very, very physical <laughs> action. Um, I've lost these two. People. I've lost two kilograms of water. You know, oh. uh, I, I was so dry after after that week. So I was like, "Oh my god, that's crazy!" I was sweating like like never before. <laughs> so yeah, definitely the elevators. The scene with Olivier Gourmet, the finale between you and Olivier. Ah, with the bones. Oh, it was hard too. Oh my God, I forgot about this. And I almost, because you know, Olivier was huge and I think he waited like something like close to the And so me, I stupidly, I told him like, oh, you know what? When you ch choke me, like do, do, do it a bit more. Just like do it for real, but it was 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah, morning. Yeah. Morning. It was super tired, and I do remember I almost passed out the second time because it was choking me, and I. But, and you see, you see in the shot, like my eyes are uh, <laughs> almost out, and like it was choking me. And I remember, like 
I was trying to, I was starting to pass out. And, I was, and then I was like, I told him, I was like, oh man, I almost passed out. Like it was a bit too much. He was like, yeah, but you told me to chuck it. I was like, yeah, but in between, <laughs> find a, find just the in between, and that, that'd be amazing. But yeah, that scene was really hard too. No, yeah. but it was, it was challenging, but still, yet yeah, still my best, the best shooting ever. So nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, those are both great scenes. Is there my last question? You know, is is there anything you guys are working on that you'd like to share about Xavier? We could start with you if there's a, a new uh, film. Seeing a movie I did with my two partner in crime, uh, it's a <laughs> stack movie based in Paris, and it's gonna be called Under Paris. And um, the film is uh, still in post at the moment. Uh, it was a locking picture today, actually earlier in the in the afternoon. There is still a little switch we have to do, but uh, but Nassim was there to watch it. And the, the biggest challenge is to make the audience believe Shark can arrive in Paris and destroy a, a triathlon <laughs> <laughs> performance. So it's gonna be it's gonna be something quite special. Big, then, movie, yeah. Big Sharks movie. The three of us. Then, uh, and the guys don't doesn't know yet, but I want to bring them back in Thailand doing more uh, crazy things about that. Yes, so, please. I was yes, I was please. there a week ago doing scouting, so I have surprise for them, but I wait for financing to green light. <laughs> and uh um and me like Tim, uh, Xavier is not even uh aware of that, but me I might work again with Jude uh, very soon, but it's very confidential. So we cannot tell. And I don't want to jinx, uh, jinx out. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, I look I look forward to it. I understand. It's always worth a shot. You know, I know you can't yeah. <laughs> always share everything, but we always love to hear it. So, you know. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. Well. Yeah, it was good to meet you all and uh, congratulations again. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank you.